Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for February the 1st through to the 15th. So first half of Feb, it is a general reading. It is, so it may or may not resonate. <laughs> just going to give my little blurb. Uh, just take what feels like right for you and leave the rest. If it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading uh, where we'll take a look at the future beyond. We'll get a lot more information for you. The link will be in the description box below. So just click on that. It will take you over to Vimeo. I'd love it if you come over to that. It's always a lovely journey. Uh, so let's see what we've got for you, Virgo. Let's see what we've got. And if you do really enjoy this reading, I do always really appreciate your likes, so subscribes, comments and shares. So we've got Justice crossed by the Ten of Pentacles and the Moon, the Judgment card. Gosh, you've got a lot of major arcanas here. Oh, a major ending happening here so might be around a contract as well that's coming in here. Uh, so Three of Wands. Or a re re renegotiating. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Gosh, another major arcana. The Emperor. Gosh. Okay, the Eight of Swords. The Four of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay, this is interesting. But we're well, followed by the Six of Swords. There's something on offer here. Something, a new contract's on offer here. Something's either been renegotiated or something new has been offered. So this can be in the form of, at the base of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. This can be in the form of uh, bank loans. This can be in the form of job offers, uh, renegotiating pay, renegotiating, um, you know, a lot to do with money. So um, how much interest you're getting or paying with the bank and, or um, how much rent you're paying, how much you're getting paid per hour, what sort of tips you're getting, all this sort of stuff is coming in with this justice. And she, this is now an opportunity to kind of reset something in your life, a contract. Um, so this doesn't necessarily have to be an institutional contract. This can be a, like a legal document. This can be a contract you've had with yourself where you've reached a point where you've go, okay, I've made as much money or got, I've reached as much potential with something that I think that I can. And so therefore I am ready to start anew. I feel like there's just this sense of starting anew and it's a new money cycle, a new career cycle. It's a new stepping the way you might be dealing with your finances. So you've gone as far as you can with something and now it's time to start something new, which is kind of exciting. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming up in the near future. So, you know, in the recent past we have the Three of Wands and this is um, the energy of something has reached, something has reached a level of success here. But I feel like suddenly it's kind of lost support. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm just getting it's kind of out in no man's land. Something's in no man's land. And it was going well up until a point and then it's suddenly like the energy just left and dropped, dropped away and it can be almost feel like what's happened or um, where am I? It's like just nothing it's like, oh, it was all going so well. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. And it's because there is, this was attached to that old cycle and that cycle's ended. So it might be that you started something um, at the end of a cycle and it's kind of like it's not going to progress any further from now on because something's ended. Um, not in a bad way. I feel like this is a huge um, way to step into greater greater security, greater, more money, um, all that sort of stuff. So it's a reset on the financial front here for you coming in. So, you know, in your conscious mind, we have the moon. There's no wonder that there's a bit of um, fear, doubt, confusion that could be coming in, wanting to understand uh, intuitively what's happening. Uh, this can be related to areas around the home as well. We can be looking at... Um, I, I get this sense of why has something suddenly stopped? Like why is something not progressing? It could, and again, again, it, this can be related to homes, mortgage, where you're living, moving, all this sort of stuff 
renegotiating rent, all of that sort of stuff around the home with the moon card coming through. And But there is just a sense of trying to make sense of something, not understanding, and it's just because, yeah, the, it's like something, I feel like the rug kind of got pulled under you. Um, something, there's just the, it's this trying to make sense of something. Sorry, there's like a motorbike in the background. I'll just wait for that to pass because it's really loud. It's not normally loud around here, but occasionally the bikies go for a little ride down the hill and they're, they're really loud. Um, so, yeah, I do feel just wanting to under, understand what's going on here, not quite understanding. But at the base of the issue, we have the judgment card. And this is what's happening deep down. And this is a double ending. We've got the two tens here, not just one ten. <laughs> We've got two tens. So this is, it's going to be something obvious on the surface in front of you that something is ending and there's a chance to renegotiate or restart something. Um, but they're saying something else deep down has ended as well. So, and you may or may not be aware of that, but this is giving you an opportunity for rebirth on a very huge uh, soul level. There's a soul rebirth coming through here for you, Virgo. So it's it's interesting energy that's coming through. That's why I think that there can be confusion because what I'm being shown is how you thought something was going. You thought you understood the passage and where the direction that something was going in. Suddenly that's totally changed and it's like I don't understand. So, And that's just because, yeah, there's this huge, um, deep down, there's this huge revolution going on inside of you. So that's amazing. And then, look, we have a number 10 another 10 coming in. Um, one of these, I think, you know, this is, it's interesting. So what I have to show you is this is the 10 that's obvious. I told you there were two 10s here. So the second 10 that is down here and being processed and worked on and the things are moving, it's a huge rebirth and soul growth, it comes out in the near future. And there we see it in the form of change, in the form of the wheel of fortune, a big change coming through. And this is a positive change. This is bringing a lot of good stuff with it, but we don't know exactly what that is right this minute. There is just, I, I'm getting that that's what it is, but there's there's change. And so, yeah, it's how you respond to all of this is how you respond to change. <laughs> so you might be someone, depending on all the different placements in your charts, you might be like, yeah, I really want this change. I want it to be waiting for it. So it's exciting. For some other for some of you, it'll be like, I didn't really see why there was need, there was no need for change. Why is it suddenly doing this? Um, so you're presenting as the emperor. And this is very, very strong energy. Very strong, very powerful, very much. Uh, you know, stepping into your authority. I'm going to make something a concrete reality. I'm going to, I understand my material world. And this is what's interesting here is that there's some big changes happening to your material world. And the emperor sometimes finds it hard to understand what's happening, say, with this judgment energy. This is happening in the underworld. This is happening deep down. This is happening on uh, a soul level. The emperor sits on his throne and understands how to make things happen in the world. He's very worldly. He's very material. He's masculine. It's what he can tangibly see and feel. He's very powerful. He understands his world. He gets it. So when these things happen that he doesn't fully understand, it can feel disconcerting. It can feel like I don't understand this. I want to hold on to some kind of power that I have of my understanding and there's this massive shift of um, understanding where your world is, the direction it's taking. There's a huge change coming through. And so with the emperor energy, there is this sense of the challenge here is not to remain too stuck in uh, a current present moment. There's 
the challenge of being flexible and being able to move with the changes that are coming through. And that's why we have, um, interestingly, in the energy surrounding you is the Eight of Swords. And this is feeling stuck. Um, this is a limitation, but this is purely self-imposed um, not being able to see the way forward, not being able to see how you can move beyond something that you're feeling like you're stuck in a mindset or a belief system and it's hard to get away from it. But this character actually is not very, those binds are fairly loosely um, held around it. This character can easily break themselves free of this. It's just purely the rigidity of the mind or some kind of belief system that's been handed down that um, this change should not be happening for whatever reason or it's hard to accept this change. So that's um, interestingly that has come up for some of you that there, this may not be you as well, Virgo. This can be people around you that are not wanting to embrace the change or not wanting to move forward. And so there's just a theme here about there's big change coming through. There's a chance to renegotiate a lot of stuff to do with career and finance. And it's really how you, there's a massive rebirth, like I said, and how you respond to all of that. So there's no wonder in your hopes and fears that for, we've got the four of cups, there's something on offer and not sure of what that is, because we're not showing what that is. They're just showing that there's this huge um, clearing out of the old and a huge new cycle begins, a huge big change is coming through, but they're not showing exactly what that is. And so that's why it could be that it's like, well, I'm not sure if I want to take up this new offer, whatever it is that I'm being offered here. Um, so there's a bit of hesitancy and doubt around that. Please excuse my dogs are kind of barking a little bit in the background. But in the near, in the outcome, we have the two of pentacles and the six of swords. So this is very much, you know, mulling something over, going back and forth, um, weighing up the pros and cons, weighing up the options. This is very much, uh, I'm not going to jump into something that I don't understand what it is. I'm going to look at both options and see how it feels but ultimately where it leads is a place of greater peace and can re lead to relocation and moving so with this six of swords so there is this sense of weighing up your options and then being able to move forward, being able to step into this. And this can mean, like I said, relocation. It can just be moving forward. But either way, it it um, and it can be travel for some of you. Um, I know that that's kind of, you know, not necessarily on the cards for some, but that, that does come up with this cards of the Six of Swords. It can be moving job, moving office, moving home. There's a sense of there's a movement and you've been asked to, it can be moving from one um, mindset to another and you're finding peace within this, letting go of some turbulent, um, some turbulence in your life, however that pre presented to you and being able to actually find some smooth sailing. So it's... Um, it's interesting because it is actually finding an easier path, a better way, but it's I feel this huge resistance to um, letting go. And, yeah, moving to Karma Waters with that Six of Swords. So I do feel like there's a really positive change here coming on the cards, um, definitely coming through here for you. And so, you know, it's fair enough. As an overall energy, we have the Four of Swords and this is very much taking some time out. I think that's going to be really important for you, Virgo, taking some time out to think about this. To This can be a period of rest or recovery, getting some good sleep. It's about just um, putting down any kind of conflict or worry and just looking at it, contemplating it, understanding it maybe rewriting and understanding the story that you've been told or you've been telling yourself about this and rewriting that. So it is interestingly moving to a better place, moving to an easier place. But, yeah, it's it's trusting that. There's a huge question of trust over this because you're not being shown the full picture. Um, you might have been given and you might feel like this is something that's been 
you might not have a lot of choice in. <laughs> it might be presented to you. Um, but for some of you, you know, this can be really positive, you know, like you've just got a bank loan and you're ready to buy your new, your first house. Um, for some others, it can be like, oh, we're re renegotiating, renegotiating a contract and yeah, yeah, it's just different. It's going to appear different to all of you. So we have Moon Scorpio, the Seven of Cups again, the Moon's coming in so strongly with the Moon up there in your conscious mind. This is very much the energy of going deep, under being highly intuitive. It's not going to show you. To, there's a trust that comes in with this journey. There is a lot of things on offer. There's a lot of options here. And you really got to trust your gut. You trust your instinct with this. The wheel is turning. Absolutely. And it can feel disorientating when that change comes in because it, it can feel like I don't know which way I'm going here, what's happening. And there are, I'm being shown like one of those game wheels where they spin it and you don't know where it's going to land, kind of like I'm being shown this, how it turns around and you're like, which one is it going to land on? And it can feel like which way is up kind of thing. And um, a little bit of um, there's a sense of not necessarily being in control or trusting fate or something's coming in here around that. Uh, but there is the ability to intuitively make a very, very good financial decision here. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, I think it's trust your gut with that. Trust it. Absolutely. So... They're just showing me the Scorpio are very, very good with money, very good managers, and that they will be able to see that energy that's helping you. Could be related to a Scorpio. If you've got a Scorpio around that can give you some really good advice around this, that will really help. But that energy is going to help you discern what the right, the next choice, the best choice for you is around this. So let's put let's pull an animal spirit energy. But like I said, Virgo, this is all really, really good. It's heading to a really good place, a place of greater peace and happiness. So it's just saying you've got as far as you can. And we have the shark has come out as an animal spirit energy, a medicine around you. And this is a deep emotional energy as well. Uh, we're dealing with some emotions that can be confusing or can be coming up. And like we said, like a, a washing machine it's a bit of a journey it might be feeling like you're being churned around the thing with the shark is the shark is the very directional the shark knows what it is that you want and so that's the challenge here with this this medicine that's coming through with the with the animal the shark is that as soon as the shark gets a smell of blood, it's very instinctual. A smell of um, something, it just goes for it. It's it's like it just um, it doesn't even think, and that's kind of like you know if you're being given all these options, 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 and then that scorpionic energy that you can tap into just goes bang. That's the right one, and it's just about moving when you and instinctually taking. Um, trusting your instincts for this it's a very primal energy but when you get that sense go go for it um and that's the challenge of the shark to not stay in indecision to not stay too long in um it's it's saying don't rush into it too much but also because if you rush in and you don't have that feeling that this is right this is exactly what i need you might be making the wrong so a wrong decision so it's this real pinpointed energy of working out what the next thing is right for you here because it's also don't be too slow or you'll miss out so it's about finding the exact right timing that's with um the opportunity that's coming through here it is a lot to do with timing that sometimes um when you're negotiating things related to money it can be a lot to do with you know holding holding your nerve or understanding that the timing is right it can be if you're looking to buy your first place say uh, you might be unsure about a place if you're unsure 
um, that would be a sign that it may not necessarily be right. With the shark energy, you will know. You will know exactly what's feeling right for you. Now, um, that doesn't mean you might not go through a lot of um, emotions of uncertainty, unsure, all that sort of stuff. But when it clicks on the right spot, and it might still be that you make that original decision that you got presented with, take up that original offer, but you had to go through a whole process of understanding it. And then suddenly something clicks and you go, now I understand why I need to do that. So it's a process. It's a process, but to trust that Virgo. So what I want to do is actually pull an affirmation card for you. Because there's an opportunity here and they don't want you to miss it. And it would be very easy to not even see it or notice it for some of you. And for some of you, it's going to like be so obvious. It's like I had no choice in the matter. Okay. Affirmation for Virgo. Okay. <laughs> I let go of all expectations. And I think that is part of it. I think that's what connected to that eight of swords is that um, trying to control the outcome with that wheel of change and understand where the wheel's going to and have an expectation. That's where we can get stuck. It says, I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. So, yeah, it is a huge. Um, yeah, trusting, trusting. There's a sense of having to let go of some kind of control and trust. And I've also got this one that I want to say. It says, my life is a mirror. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. So that also seems important. And one more is coming up. It says, I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. So all those kind of themes are coming up for you, Virgo, um, because there's good stuff here and they don't want you to miss out on it. So I'm going to pull a charm for you. Charm for Virgo. Ah, you hold the key. You hold the key and there is a lot of interlocking cycles and timelines there in the centre of this key and that's kind of where I was saying that it felt like there was a lot happening. It felt like there was like a lot of things spinning and turning and it can feel like where am I in all of this? But they're saying that this is all, this is actually all contained within you, interestingly and that you hold the key to understanding and unlocking all of these timelines and letting some of them be free, letting some of them go and being open to new ones. So it's interesting, Virgo, very interesting. And I do feel like there's something that that um, needs to be unlocked here. There, and again, you know, I keep getting houses, like the idea of a house. So Here's the key. Quite literally for some of you might be getting the keys. But houses are also representative of your sense of self, like who you are and how you kind of respond to yourself. So what fairies messages do we have for you? We have the Ra and the Glancona. So, yeah, this is about rising above an energy that would lead you down the wrong path. This is about rising above an energy that is sarcastic, it wants to put you down, it's that voice that just goes as if you can do that or why would you believe that or why do you think this is going to happen and whenever you want to believe something good might come something or it's just that douse, that voice that douses that and is really um, a negative voice and it's this is saying that you have the ability to rise above this now and move beyond that. So that's really positive. And the thing with the Glancona energy is that sometimes you're shown the wrong path 
only because you learn what the right path is. But I'm not, I'm getting that for some of you, but I'm getting mostly being able to overcome the inner saboteur, the self-saboteur that doesn't let you go for things um, like the shark does. You go for it when you f- it feels right rather than um, procrastinating or, um, you know, it, it's going with that flow. So it's a, it's um, complicated. It's it's um, trying to navigate where it is that you're going, but really the answer to it is um, understanding that a lot of things when there's this judgment card is right at the base and this is influencing the entire reading, this is a huge clearing out of the old and a huge rebirth. So letting go of things that are naturally passing, things are coming up to be looked at. And so this energy is over the entire reading. And so whilst you're in this judgment energy and things are coming up and being released and changing, it can feel um, it can feel a bit like you disorientating or foggy or funky or just not sure there's just a lot happening you can't see clearly it can be it can feel like that it can also feel empowering and I'm stepping into the new and I'm embracing this huge change like I said it's going to be different to all of you but the trick really is this card here and we have the moon the moon Scorpio is right next to the moon card here that's come through the trick is really this and these two cards in order to sail through this and make it an easier journey is to allow things to flow, to take some time out, to connect with your intuition, really trust your intuition here, um, feel and feel through things deeply, but also maybe rewrite the story that you've been told about certain things and take some time to contemplate on a deep level um, what's happening. So, yeah, there is... And it's all about letting go of all your expectations and um, going with the flow of change. So I hope that makes sense, Virgo, because I do feel like, you know, you're moving to this beautiful Six of Swords energy, which is moving to a calmer place of peace. So it's such a beautiful place to get to and to be moving to. So they're really wanting you to step into this and to go there. So that's where we're going to end the YouTube reading, this reading. I'm going to take it over to the deep read. Now we'll look at the future beyond, like where are you going to? They're, they're, you're not being given a lot of information here, which is always hard to step into a big change or a step into the unknown and just know that you need to go or do something. And you don't know exactly how that's going to work or what it's going to be like. And so we'll have a look. We'll see. Some, we'll, we'll see in if we can get some more information about that in the deep read and um, we'll get some more information about, uh, see if we can get some clarity. That would be really great. Um, There's always more information that comes through. So I'd love it if you come over to that, Virgo. The link is in the description box below. Just click on that. We'll take you over to Vimeo. I also pin it in the comment section, so it will be there too. Um, So Yeah, but if this is where we're leaving each other, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I always really appreciate that. Take care, Virgo. I hope this helped. I'll see you next time. Bye.